Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to quickly delete blank rows in a data set in Excel. So here I have a data set and you can see there are some blank rows in it and to delete these blank rows I would quickly select this data set, go to the home tab and here in the editing group I have this option find and select and when I click on this option I would get all these additional options and I would select go to special and when I click on this option it opens the go to special dialog box. Now go to special dialog box allows me to select certain cells so I can select cells that have comments in it or I can select cells that have constants in it or formulas in it but I'm interested in cells that are blank so I would click on this option blanks and then click ok and see what happens it will select all these cells in this data set that are blank. Now to delete this entire row, I would right click, go to delete and here I get these options where I have the shift cells up option. Now if you have additional data apart from this data set on your worksheet, I would recommend you do not use entire row because if you use entire row, then it will delete the entire row number four, which would mean it will also delete any additional data you have from row number, uh, column number D onwards. So that is not the advisable option. Instead, you can select shift cells up and click OK, which would delete these cells and shift the data set up. So see, uh, see what happens when I click OK. All those blank cells are gone and the data shifts up. So it essentially means that you have deleted the row. Now let's see another case of using uh, go to special dialog box. Here I have a data set but in this case I only want to select the blank cells and I don't want to delete it. What you can do is either you can highlight these blank cells or you can insert something useful. For example these are uh, data sets that are not available. So you can insert not available or you can insert a zero or you can insert dash. So in this case again let me quickly select this entire data set. Go to home, find and select, go to special. Here I would select blanks and click OK. Now it selects all these cells. Now and let's say I want to insert NA for not available in all these blank cells. So the active cell is this one which is not great. I would type NA. It gets inserted in the active cell but instead of simply pressing enter you press control enter. So you hold the control key and then you press enter and when you do that it will insert the text that you have inserted in the active cell in all these cells. So you can also use go to special to highlight these cells, uh, you can delete these cells or you can insert something in all of these selected blank cells. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.